What's up guys, Geek here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use your Xbox One um, and a Google Cardboard headset um, to play your Xbox One in VR. Um, all you need is obviously an Xbox One, a Windows PC with Windows 10 only, um, the Xbox app on Windows 10. Um, I'm going to be doing an Android phone tutorial but I think you can do it with iPhone as well. Uh, and then you need some sort of Google Cardboard headset. I'm going to be using the VR box. Uh, you just heard me drop it. <laughs> um, uh, there's a multitude of v uh, Google Cardboard VR headsets out there. Um, the Samsung Gear VR is probably the best one. But um, it was a little out of my price range. The one that I got, like I said, is the VR box. And I think it was like $25. And it works just fine. Uh, you take your phone, you clip it in the front, and you close it, and it puts everything in 3D. Uh, it's really cool how it works. Um, but yeah, let's get to this. Um, I'll show you how to do this. Um, first thing you want to do is obviously turn your Xbox on um, and then open the Xbox app on your computer. Then what you want to do is stream your Xbox to your computer. And then once you get your Xbox streaming to your computer, um, you can see I'm actually on here. I have the mouse and everything. Um, it says streaming from Xbox One. Um, what you want to do is go download the Trinus VR app um, from the Google Play Store and download the program for your computer from uh, the Trinus VR website. I can't remember what it's called exactly. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. Um, then what you want to do is um, you want to plug in your phone to your computer through USB. That's the only downfall to this. You can use um, you can use Wi-Fi, but it's very laggy. Um, but what you want to do, I'm going to swap over to my phone here. What you want to do, you can see I got it connected. I got a little screen recorder going on here. Um, what you want to do is you open up uh, your settings. You open up your tethering and portable hotspot. And then you want to do USB tethering. If that's not on, it will not work. And then what you want to do is open up Trinus VR on your phone. And um, as you can see, it says USB detected there. Um, then what you want to do is open up, as you see here, Trinus VR on your computer. Now, you need to set these up to match your specific uh, cardboard headset. And the way you figure that out is on your phone, you turn on the app. And on the computer, you turn on the app. And you see now that it's streaming in stereoscopic 3D mode. What you now do is you put the phone in the headset and um, just notice how everything is looking. If it looks like it's too big, you can come back into the app here on the on the I mean the program on the computer and adjust it to make it look right. If it's too small, you can do the same, and whatever you need to do to get it to look where uh, it, it's correct. Um, the only bad thing is you cannot control the Xbox with your mouse and keyboard or uh, uh, or the head tracking on your phone. So what you have to do is basically just look straight ahead um, and then control everything with your Xbox controller. Um, it just gives you more depth perception and uh, gives it like a 3D feel. So if anything is like flying at you, it still looks cool. Um, or if anyone is like throwing rocks or, you know, stuff like that, it still looks 3D. Um, but anyway, now I'm on the Xbox here and you can see it's working on the, um, Google Cardboard headset and on the computer. Uh, as you can see, I've got them both here on the screen. Uh, let's start Dishonored 2. All right, so basically what you want to do is get everything set up before you put the headset on because it makes everything really difficult and the mouse doesn't really show up right. 
um, on the um, stereoscopic 3D mode. So you want to set up everything. You want to go ahead and get past the main menu of the game. Go ahead and load the game. And then once you're in the game to where you can play, uh, you actually go ahead and put the headset on. Okay, now with the headset on, you can see that it's in stereoscopic mode. Um, everything is, you know, 3D. Um, so let's go fight these bad guys up here. If I don't die every time. Let's see. I'm going to purposely get spotted. Time to collect this bounty. Looking for a fight. This won't take long. Chopped his arm off. And I'm dead. Okay. Back in it. I'm gonna purposely get spotted again. <laughs> There's so many guys. Ugh. The bad thing about making YouTube videos like this is you guys can't really see what I'm seeing. Now I do have it in cardboard mode, or not cardboard mode, but um, stereoscopic mode, so you could essentially just put your phone in a Google headset right now, um, a Google cardboard headset right now, and it would work just fine. Um, and you would kind of get a little bit of what I'm seeing. But without that, you, you can't really tell. Um, but I'm going to do this one more time, see what I can get into here. Okay. Punch me. Ah, yeah. Okay. Is that all of them? Oh, I guess so. I'm gonna jump off here. The big finale. Or, nope, big death. <laughs> all right let's back out of this all right and that's pretty much it guys that that's how you set your your Xbox up to play VR that's the only way I know how right now um, I guess you could call this budget VR <laughs> but it works you just kind of have to look straight the whole time you can't look around with your head um, but yeah guys hopefully you enjoyed it if you have any questions uh, leave a comment below uh, thumbs up for me subscribe you know whatever you want to do um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and i will see you in the next video later